I'm arguing that Sharia uh, law is superior to human rights because Sharia rule preserves marriage and family. So Harris, you want to criticize Islam and call Islam barbaric for having slavery, but imagine if I asked you this question, do you support using weapons in war? Do you support using guns to shoot people or swords to stab people and kill people? Do you support that? Because all of that is violent. All of that is barbaric. Presumably, you'd say, yeah, of course I support weapons and killing because how else are you going to fight war and defend yourself? Well, that's exactly the point with slavery. In the pre-modern period, you couldn't have war without slavery any more than you could have war without weapons and killing. In other words, if killing people can sometimes be justified, then slavery can also sometimes be justified. You should just acknowledge that slavery could be completely justified in certain circumstances, which, by the way, are the circumstances people have lived in for 99% of human history. Now, if you want to argue that Islam requires enslaving people today, I would say that that is not correct. It depends on the imam. The imam has the option to pardon people and forego taking slaves in war. So in modern times, a hypothetical imam could exercise this option and still be 100% consistent with the most strict understanding of traditional Islamic law. You could respond to me and say, well, Daniel, fine, slavery could be justified in the past, but now with modern technology, modern weapons, uh, clearly slavery could never be justified. That means Islamic rules regarding slavery are not justifiable in our modern context, which means at least one aspect of Islamic law is obsolete. And if one aspect of Islamic law is obsolete due to modern technology, then why not all of Islamic law? But the response to this is simple. Which is the better world? One with the constant threat of nukes and constant terrorizing of the world's poor people with trillion dollar weapons programs? In light of these modern technological horrors, the practice of Islamic slavery actually seems a far better alternative in the context of war, even if it were practiced today. Now, let me get to the point about sex slavery. Yes, taking sex slaves was not only morally justified, it was morally necessary. And really, that's enough for the argument, but it's worth noting that the Sharia's rules on concubines and slaves in general are the most humane out of any other civilization. Islam explicitly gives slaves many rights. They can't be mutilated, they can't be killed, they can't be prostituted. For women, if she gives birth to her master's baby, the baby is free, and she also is freed automatically when her master dies. And I think the audience sees that. You don't I have a very simple argument. Sharia preserves marriage and family and community and the human race overall. And I'm bringing statistics, objective statistics 